Hey guys, my name is Evan and welcome to Country View Acres. So today we got a little welding uh, project out here in the workshop. We're gonna be building a hay spear. It's actually gonna be a double hay spear. And while we're building it, we're gonna make it multifunctional. So we're gonna make it so it has a trailer hitch on there so we can move equipment around. We're also gonna put some hooks on here so that we can do some lifting. So it's gonna be multifunctional. So I ended up buying a skid steer attachment plate from Titan Attachments. And this one here is the 3 8 inch thick one. I believe that's what this is. So it's a very heavy duty. I may have gone a little overboard on that. I've got a couple 43 inch hay spears here, and then I've got some square stock that we're gonna weld together for the frame. So let's go ahead and get started. So these hay spears have, um, has this little mounting point that they bolt into. And this piece right here is what's gonna weld onto the hay spear. So it's gonna weld into this three and a half inch tube. This is quarter inch thick, so this is plenty beefy for this. And this is actually a two inch diameter. So what we're gonna do, uh, we need to drill some two inch holes in this square tube first, and then go ahead and uh, probably go ahead and weld these uh, mounting collars in place. Well, this mounting point is actually like 2.165, so a little over two and an eighth inches. So hopefully we got a hole saw that's the right size or something close. Well, the closest I had was two and three eighths. A little big. So my milling machine, the vise is so small that I can't fit this in there. It's been kind of disappointing. Doesn't like that. Come on. No horsepower. All right, got my holes drilled, got my parts cleaned up, and my drill was a little big. I've got quite a big gap here to try to fill in around that. So I'll just have to make do. All right, this is my first time running the, the welder with uh, gas. So I've got my gas bottle hooked up. I think I've got the flow set right. And uh, everybody says I'm gonna love this. I'm sure I will. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, I think I am gonna like this. So here's what my tack weld looks like. That actually looks pretty good, I like it. So I did have this raised up 3 eighths of an inch so that they stuck out the other side as well. Well, they look straight together. I think that looks good. I figured I'd have one all wonky. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna weld this together as a frame and then that's gonna weld to the skid steer plate. And then after that, we can start adding our hitch and our lifting hooks.
So here's a first look at my welds. Uh, not too bad for me. So I did make one mistake. I set this for quarter inch thick metal. You can see how thick this is. But the other side is a lot thinner and I ended up blowing a hole in it right there. So I'm gonna have to grind that out and make that look better. So the skid steer attachment plate is going to weld right on top of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and grind these welds flat and then we'll go ahead and put the attachment plate on there. test fit. There we go. All right, it's gonna work. Let's go ahead and finish welding this out. All right, I've got the skid steer plate welded to the frame. It's welded probably at least 80% on the backside. I'm afraid I might run out of wire here pretty soon. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put some hooks on here so that I can lift stuff with a chain. So this is a grab hook. This is a 5 16 So um, this will work on quarter inch chain and 5 16 inch chain. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put some of these here along the top. So I'm thinking maybe three hooks, one over each of the skid steer attachments. That's probably the strongest and put one right here in the middle. So this here is a two inch receiver hitch. Uh, it's a weld on hitch. I bought this, I believe at Amazon. So I'm gonna weld that at the bottom in the center. And then off of that, I'm gonna bring another square tube off of that straight up the middle. And that'll just be a little extra support. And this is gonna allow us to use anything that we would use in the hitch of the truck we can put into here. And then we'll be able to move you know, trailers and wagons and stuff with the front of the tractor, which could be, I think could be handy in some cases. So this receiver hitch actually welded on pretty good. I got it on the sides and then I got it on the bottom front and back and it's pretty solid. I was gonna put a brace right here, but I think it's gonna be fine the way it is. So I think the only thing left that I wanna do is I just wanna cover up some of these holes in the square tube, get them covered up so it's all sealed up and then we can paint it. All right, I think I've got everything welded out. So I've put some end caps on the end of the top and bottom tubes, both ends. I've got our hooks welded on there. We've got our hay spear attachments, and then we've got our two inch receiver here at the bottom. So I'm just wiping this down with some paint thinner to degrease it before I paint it. It'll help the paint stick better. I'll tell you what, this isn't something you want to lift every day. It's fairly heavy. Definitely built strong, I guess. So these hay spears actually have kind of a cone shape to them and it fits in this adapter, just kind of wedges in there. And then we got a nut put on the back side to hold it in place. So these hay spears were 43 inches and that's to the back of the nut. So that ends up being somewhere around 37 inches that's gonna end up in the bale. And since we got four foot bales, I think that's gonna work all right. So the two hay spears I think are 20 inches apart from each other. And these are rated at like 3,000 or 3,500 pounds a piece. 
uh, way more than I'll ever want to pick up with this. And we should be able to take these out. We should be able to remove the nut, tap on the back of these and, and knock these out of here. And then we can use our two inch receiver down here so that we can move stuff around and use it as a trailer mover. And then we've got our grab hooks here so we can hook up some chains, maybe to use this for lifting stuff up if we want to. So we've got three of the 5 16 grab hooks here on the top and pretty happy with the way this all looks. That's, it looks like, you know, if you don't pay too much attention to the welds, um, it looks like a factory made hay spear. So this hay spear is probably a little bit overbuilt for the small round bales that we make, but uh, I think we should go ahead and give it a test, don't you? So I've got like nine round bales in the bank barn and I wanna store all of them in the white pole barn up front. I went ahead, I put some more gravel down in there and it's ready for us to go store those bales. So let's go ahead, see if we can get all those picked up and transferred over. All right, first time running a hay spear. First two bales didn't go very well. I was trying to get in here at an angle, which I don't have much room in this barn, to try to get in here and set that bale on top of there. It didn't work out too well. I was hoping to be able to get a double stack, but now that I've got these, this first part in here, that may be a little bit difficult, but hopefully the next eight bales, seven bales go better than this.
So I'm definitely not the best person at using a hay spear. I was having trouble stacking them. Uh, basically when I went to stack them, it would want to drag the bale back out. I couldn't get the, the spears to slide out. It wanted to take the bale back with it. And so I don't know if there's a little bit of, I just need to learn how to operate it a little bit better or if it's because I have two long spears in the bale and that just holds onto it a little bit more and makes it a lot harder to drop it off. I don't know if that's the reason or not, but we were able to get the bales moved and stacked in the barn exactly where I wanted them. So luckily for this project, I actually had all this metal laying around. So this was this three and a half inch square tube. It is the same as the legs on the welding table. And then this two inch tube that I made the rest of it out of, that was the legs for the workbench for the metal lathe. And uh, when I did those projects, I, I was sure to order extra metal so that I had some laying around just for odd projects. And this, I think in the end, this definitely paid off because metal prices have went through the roof. And uh, so I was glad that I had at least the metal to weld this together. So I just bought the spears. Actually, I didn't buy the spears, I bought one spear. I was gonna build this with just one central spear that was 49 inches, a little bit longer, and then two of the stabilizer spikes that are like 12, 16 inches long to put on the bottom. And that's what I ordered. And what they delivered to me was two spears that were 43 inches long. So they shipped me the wrong thing. And uh, instead of like calling and complaining, I thought, I'm not even gonna mess with it. I'll just build the hay spear with two spears instead. And that's the way we ended up building it. And uh, so this was not the design that I actually was gonna build. Um, but I worked with what I had and uh, I think it turned out pretty good. So I bought the hooks um, and then I bought the two inch receiver. Was there anything else that I had to buy? I think, oh, and the skid steer plate. And the skid steer plate, I probably went a little beefy on that with the three eighths plate. They have that, I think, from like quarter inch all the way up to half inch, somewhere in there. There's, there's about four or five different sizes you can buy. And um, so I'm not sure what the overall cost of this was. I'm gonna say it was somewhere, since not counting the metal, I think with the stuff I purchased, it was probably somewhere around $300 worth of stuff. So if you look at buying a really good hay spear, um, one that's got, that's built really strong like this, one that's got a two inch receiver on it, maybe got the grab hooks on it. Um, there's some of them out there that's like that. Um, you're probably gonna spend five, 600 bucks on a good hay spear. Now there's cheaper ones out there. The cheaper ones were around the $400 range. But in the end, I think if you just count the parts that I bought this, the last couple weeks to build this, I'm still money ahead. Now I had to spend a whole day welding it together and a couple cans of spray paint, but you know, this is the stuff that I like to do. You know, if I could do anything, I would probably just build stuff all day long. I always liked fabricating and building things and woodworking and uh, yeah. So if I had to spend a day building it, it was probably more enjoyment for me just being able to, to put this together. Cause this is making this is the kind of stuff that I, that I really enjoy. So in the end, I think I'm saving money. I uh, can't count the metal that I, I had laying around, but I guarantee this metal was a lot cheaper last year <laughs> when I bought it. But uh, yeah, pretty happy with it. I think if somebody comes over and they see this, they're not gonna realize that this is actually, that it's actually one I made. They're probably gonna think it's something that I bought off somebody. I think it looks that good. As long as you don't look close and look at the amateur welds, I think uh, I think you're gonna think that uh, that it was probably bought. And it looks like it goes with the tractor, doesn't it? I think it, it almost matches perfectly. The red's a little bit different, but with the black and the red, it really goes with the TYM, so. Um, it's going to be nice having the trailer mover, the hitch down here where I can move wagons around from the front of the tractor. I think that's going to help with the hay wagon, you know, being able to back a hay wagon into the barn, using it from the front of the tractor. I think that's going to be good. And then I'm always lifting stuff up with chains and it's going to be nice to have the grab hooks here where I can uh, use this for some lifting jobs. So, but uh, I think that's going to be it for today. I've got to go back to work tomorrow. This is Sunday. This is the last day of my weekend. And then it's back to the daily grind. So that's it for today, guys. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. I found a flaw in my design. When you close the handles on the quick attach, 
it's right next to that nut. You hit your knuckles on it. So, small flaw. Let's have to remember to be careful opening and closing. Let me see how close it is. It still moves, but it's just a little too close.